All right, thanks for watching. And today we'll do another quick example of the definition of a limit. And today what we wanna show is that if the sequence converges to S, then absolute value of the sequence converges to absolute value of S. And let me just do it directly so you can see how elegant this is. So let epsilon positive be given. Then we know because Sn converges to S, there is some number capital N such that if N is greater than capital N, then the sequence itself is close to S. So Sn minus S is less than epsilon. And You'll see why, but let's choose the same capital N. So with that same choice, so with that, with the same capital N, if N is greater than N, let's compare the difference of absolute values. Then, um, again, the difference between the absolute values. Well, you want to show it's less than or equal to something, and there's a very useless inequality that's very useful here, actually, which is the reverse triangle inequality. So this is less than Sn minus S, but we know that this is less than epsilon. And then you're done, because you wanted to find some N, such that if n is bigger than capital N, then the difference between absolute values is less than epsilon. So you're done. And the only thing I also wanted to add is the converse is not true. So careful. If the absolute value of Sn converges to S, this does not imply that the original sequence converges to S. For instance, so in other words, if the sequence converges and the absolute values converge, but if the absolute values converge and the sequence does not necessarily converge, for instance, take uh, Sn to be again our favorite counterexample, minus one to the n, so it just jumps back and forth. And of course, Sn doesn't converge, right? So, but on the other hand, if you take absolute value of Sn, Well, that is the absolute value of minus 1 to the n, but this is 1. So you see, if you take the sequence of absolute values, it converges to 1. So, because the sequence is constant equal to 1, it also converges to 1. So Sn converges to 1. But the sequence itself doesn't converge to anything. In particular, it doesn't converge to S, whatever that means. All right, thank you very much.